What's up, my comic community? My name is Cullen, and I collect comics, and between the time I made the last video and this video, I've gone to St. Louis and back. So, uh, we're going to continue with the theme of uh, whatnot first, but uh, I did pick up some books while I was in St. Louis. I had to give my mother a ride to the airport, so I did a little bit of shopping. I didn't do too much. Uh, I got a couple small books. But, like I said, Whatnot Wednesdays, as soon as I got done making that Whatnot video, uh, I walked outside and there was another package. So, this right here is from Comic Elite. Comic Elite Comics. And, uh, yeah, I picked up a, went on one of their Whatnot shows. I really like some of their stuff they sell. So let's see what I picked up. Alright. Also, in this there are a couple books. Plus also a win of a giveaway. My first giveaway win ever. So that was cool. Yeah, that's another cool thing I found out about doing stuff on Whatnot is the fact that there are giveaways and stuff where you can win books. So let's see what we got here. And most of the stuff on Whatnot I've been picking up. Well, you know me. I mostly pick, pick up current stuff, even though I do like to pick up classic stuff from here now and, now and then because I like old stuff just as much as I like new stuff. All right. First, we have that new DC Comics. Is that the... I hope that's the... Yeah, it is. We have that Batman. Or, sorry, not Batman. We have that... Uh, oh, uh... This is uh, Harley Quinn uh, uncovered with that awesome Alex Ross foil cover. We also have this Sabrina the Teenage Witch annual spectacular. And then, as the free giveaway, I got uh, Barbarella Volume 2. This is issue number 4, and this is like the 1 in 15 or something like that. But that was the free giveaway book from, uh, like I said, Comics Elite. You can definitely check them out on Whatnot. Uh, now we're going to get into, I went to All American Collectibles in St. Louis. <coughs> and uh, I picked up... Uh, the second printing of Beneath the Trees Where No One Sees. And I finally sat down and read this as soon as I got home. And I was blown away at how awesome it was. It was like Dexter meeting those Richard Scarry books like uh, that I'm sure some of y'all read when you were kids. Some of you might not know what I'm talking about. But definitely like anamorphic. It was almost like anamorphic Dexter. But a little bit more complicated than that. But definitely had... That kind of a vibe to it. Really neat. Really enjoyable. I can see why people are going nuts so over it. I'm glad I got picked up. Y'all saw I picked up two first printings of that when it came out. before Even before it came out because I thought it was cool. I pre-ordered it and then got it from Comic Sense. But next we've got from the Volume one, volume 2. We've got Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Volume one or issue number one. I never picked this up, and I've been picking up Batman Scooby Doo Mystery, so now I have a full run of volume two. Also at that shop, All American Collectibles, they had this Batman Scooby Doo volume one, number 10, and that completes my run of that. So now I'm done with Batman Scooby Doo Mysteries until they do a new, new season of it. Also, I was missing issue number two of Sirens of the City, so I picked that up. Now I have all that. Also, I was missing issue five of Black Cloak. So there's a number five of Black Cloak. So now I have all of Black Cloak and all of Siren of the City, all of Batman Scooby-Doo, and all that's done, which is awesome. Next, I went and raided some X-Men books while I was in there. We got $3 for a 181, which is the first appearance of, oh, what character is that? Uh, it's a random, not really random one, but, uh, oh, Miko. 
Then we also got a 189 with an awesome Hellfire looking cover there with the other Phoenix on it. We got, I believe I had another one of these, but not a uh, direct edition and not one in this good a condition. We got an X-Men 217. I always buy Dazzler stuff, so that had a Dazzler cover. Uh, next, we've got an Extinction Agenda number part 7, which is X-Men 272, with this awesome Jim Lee cover. Picked that up, and that was $3 also, so I had like... You know, the one $2 book and three $3 books from All American Collectibles. And that's about it. That's all I picked up uh, while I was in, like I said, uh, got my stuff from uh, All American Collectibles, which is definitely cool. And I got uh, some more stuff in from Whatnot. So, and also I got some comic sense, but we're not going to get into that today because I've already done all this. But I'm going to get off here. I'll holler at you later. Hit like and subscribe. Peace out.